now they are called Kolkata's kidneys, the wetlands uh, to the city's east, just uh, a little smaller in size than the city itself. Without them, Kolkata would drown in rain. And uh, a range of laws protect them, but illegal constructions are on nonetheless. The state often has blinkered. The Green, the National Tribunal has now, however, uh, cracked down on offenders, the latest being a building that is being linked to the art of living Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. The Temple of Knowledge, sporting telltale banners even after the National Green Tribunal ordered steps to remove the illegal structure by February. For NGO public that went to court to save the wetlands on which this is built, big relief. At the minimum you should comply with the local laws, no matter who you are, where you are, if you are acting in the name of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, for God's sake, for Godman's sake, comply with the law. It's a very uphill battle. Government hasn't moved court. It's we who moved the court and they supported us. That is a first. Public's petition of May 2016 was not just against Vedic Dharmasansthan that built this, but also East Kolkata Wetlands Management Authority for negligence. Sri Sri's disciples who built the Temple of Knowledge are upset. We have been singled out because there are more than thousands of buildings in that area which are running commercial activities, whereas ours is a non-profit and a spiritual organization. So considering that there are so many such buildings functioning, why have we been singled out? But on Tuesday, this banner about an event from 27 to 29 October after NGT's order was removed in a hurry. In Kolkata, Munidipa Banerjee, NDTV.